What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be comparing some of the most popular everyday carry options as well as home defense handguns to the new Springfield Armory XD Mod 3. Now if you know me, I wish they made a subcompact, but this thing is definitely going to find its place as a home defense or something along those lines. But basically what I do, if you've never seen this channel before, is I'll compare it to a lot of these different handguns. And the only reason I do that is to show you guys size. Um, I've noticed a couple other people have started picking up off this idea um, because it's, it is a great idea. It makes it so you can compare handguns. A lot of these FFLs won't let you take two out at once. And it's quite annoying to run around and ha have them compare it to everything. So basically, I grabbed a couple things from the stash, some of my favorite handguns, some stuff I would thought would match up well. And we're just going to compare them size-wise and capacity-wise. Capacity is the big thing that I'm trying to point out um, during these videos and how, you know, how well they'll carry and stuff like that. Now, if you know me, I carry subcompacts and micro nines mainly. So we're going to start off with my carry Glock 26. Right here is 15 plus one with the SLR rifle works base plate. It is a cheat code. Shorter than a Glock 19, that's 15 plus one and everything. The SLR rifle works base plate is ridiculous. Check this out. 16 plus one on the left, 15 plus one on the right. About the same width. And there's length. The Glock 26 combined with the SLR rifle works base plate is absolutely a cheat code. Next up, we'll go Glock 19, right? 15 plus one, a nine millimeter will end here. And then 20 plus one will end here, right? So if you look at it right now with its complete setup, that's 20 plus one on the right for the Glock and 16 plus one on the left for Springfield. But just remember you are having to use a base plate, which is another expense a potential point of failure. And then in terms of slide, they both have four inch barrels. So they have a very similar length to them. Pretty good comparison. Next up, Glock 33, nine plus one of 357 SIG, but check out this, you know, keep an open mind. I get not everyone wants 357 SIG, they don't like 40, you know, the stuff's too snappy, they can't shoot it well, whatever. But I do like a little bit of extra power. Check out how nice this setup is right here. Nine plus one on the right of 357 SIG versus 16 plus one and nine millimeter on the left. Look how gosh darn tiny the um, Glock 33 and 357 SIG is. Just an awesome package. Not saying you have to go and buy one. I'm just saying it's an awesome package that, you know, would be worth considering. Another thing I want to say is I do have the Sealy Wolf X Pro Optic up top. I love that dot. I ran it on one of my um, Glock 26s. That's Optics Ready, obviously. The one I just showed you is not. But for that one, that has about 14,000 rounds through it. Obviously, it is a different slide now and a different barrel. But the X-Wolf was on there for a couple thousand rounds. Not a single problem. This is a brand new one I picked up. So this setup right here ends up being around $550. 300 is the price tag for the XD Mod 3 in stores online. Do not buy it if it's over, you know, 320. I've seen them, you know, I've seen some stores jack it up to 350, pay around 299 to 320, somewhere in that range. And it's a heck of a deal. Um, and that's typically what I've been seeing them for, right? Really good ergonomics on this. I do have to point out really good ergonomics on this handgun. I'm very impressed. All right. Canic Meta MC9 right here. This mag is going to be 15 rounds. So 15 plus one. And I know it's got that awkward slide on the Meta, but pretty good comparison. You can see where the Springfield gets the extra round from. Then up top and overall footprint. So obviously the Canic is much easier to carry, but I have had reliability issues with that Canic. Next up, the Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. What's amazing about this right here is 13 plus one of nine millimeter power, basically. 30 Super Carry is thinner, um, but is, you know, more pressurized and has similar ballistics to nine millimeter. 13 plus one of that on the right, which is crazy. 14 rounds on the right is crazy. That's why people need to go out and buy this round. I'm telling you, the more people buy it, look at that capacity. It's a flush mag on a shield. The original shield, I don't think I have mine down here. I only have my shield plus. Oh, no, I do. That's 8 plus 1 with that extension. This is 13 plus 1. That is crazy, but just thought I'd point that out. 13 plus 1 versus 16 plus 1. Sorry, guys. And much thinner, obviously, easier to carry. But with a whole grip, I have no problem considering, con I mean, concealing thicker handguns. I put the whole grip on because it fills my hand better. Um, so I don't have a problem with it. That's why I do it. A lot of people ask. All right. Interesting. XD9 subcompact mod 2. This is not the one with 14,000 rounds through it. I got this used not too long ago for 325. 
if you see something like this, pick it up. I actually bought these two a couple days apart as they were sold to the used counter by the same owner. Look how flawless. Every scratch on it, every bit of use was from me. And there is nothing. But these mags are interchangeable. So all you need is a grip sleeve to fill the gap. But the Mod 2, the Mod 1 mags are obviously interchangeable with the Mod 3. My next test is going to see if the XDM mag will work for this. Um, actually, scratch that. It will work for this. So this runs a 35 plus 1 round MAG. That's insane. This can take an OEM 35 plus 1 setup. Crazy. Anyways, 16 plus 1 on the right. And if you guys have questions about that, I sort of can't talk about it on here. But you know what I'm saying. All OEM made by Springfield. But anyways, it's the 3.0 versus the 4.0 inch, inch barrel. So you can see the exact same length because they take the same mags and it's just longer. So I love carrying the subcompacts. I just do. Next up, CZ P10S 12 plus 1 and 9 on the right versus 12 plus 1 on the left. You can see, you know, the gap for that extra four rounds. It's reasonable. Pretty dang comparable. And then length. Very similar in length. Even though the CZ is a 3.8 inch barrel. Next up, we got to do Glock 23, 13 plus 1 to 40, versus 16 plus 1 to 9 on the left. So that trade-off is power. That's literally the trade-off. Can it potentially end the threat quicker so you can survive with your life? That's the question. Another 40, 12 plus 1, and all I did was take my subcompact and use an X-grip. When I carry, I use the smaller mag, but my backup mag is that. And guess what? The ergonomics are just... Phew, Solid. So 12 plus 1 of 40 on the right versus 16 plus 1 and 9 on the left. So once again, you're trading off four rounds. It's still a little bit shorter on the HK. But are you going to use 16 rounds? You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with it. I think I'm going to be turning this into my home defense, honestly, because I do use a larger home defense handgun, if you guys are wondering. Glock 43, X, 10 plus 1 if you use OEM mags, which is all they should be using. So six extra rounds for the Springfield. Obviously, obviously thicker and that whole thing. Next up, pretty fun one. LCP Max, 10 plus 1 of 380 versus 16 plus 1 to 9. That's just dumb. I always got to do one of these dumb comparisons on here every single time. That's just dumb. Like, that's just ridiculous. That is why I have this, and that's why I explain it every time. I have that because of that. <laughs> you can take it anywhere with you. It even makes the Hellcat <laughs> look big. Like, that's why you get one. Anyways, 11 plus 1 on the right, 16 plus 1 on the left, Springfield Brothers. Love my Springfields. They're just good guns. I have a lot of them, and they just never cause issues for me. So, all right. FNS 9C, 12 plus 1 with that flush mag. But it does take a 17 round mag as well for that FN. Then up top, overall footprint. go fn reflex 11 plus 1 versus 16 plus 1 on the left you can see where it gets the extra rounds and yeah much different uh footprint much different all right oh i do have my xd mod one there it is it looks like crap now but that's from years of carrying it years of shooting it great handgun 13 plus 1 on the right 16 plus 1 on the left obviously uses the same mags Let's go Shield Plus, 13 plus 1 and 9 millimeter versus 16 plus 1 and 9 millimeter on the left. Three rounds different. Much thinner. I, I, the more I hold this and the more I've been messing with it, manipulating it, and working on everything, the better it feels. The only thing that needs to be broken in, which will break in with time because I already started using it, is that mag release. It's a little stiff, so what I did is I just went like this all night. Or not all night, obviously, but for a good portion of the night, whenever I'd get the chance, do five minutes here, five minutes there, and it started loosening up. So it just needs to be broken in. Just a little stiff. Um, MMP 9 2.0 subcompact. That's 12 plus 1 versus 16 plus 1 on the left. And the Smith is wider. Interesting. Overall footprint. I really like the Mod 3. I think if they came out with a subcompact, it'd be an absolute hit. Performance Center. 7 plus 1 of 40 versus 16 plus 1 and 9 on the left. Once again, you're trading off. Will my first three shots be the ones that really matter and where I can defend myself? So having those three shots in 40, you know, that's how I justify it. Or 357 SIG, nine, or sorry, 45 gap, 6 plus 1 in this setup. 
45 gap has the ballistics of 45 ACP plus P, but can be used in a smaller handgun because they're shorter round. Check that out. Six plus one on the left, or sorry, on the right, plus 16 plus one on the left. And it's wider to handle that beast of a round. Mod 2 and 45, like I said, I picked this right after, literally right after I got that other XD, 275. You know why? Because it's a Springfield subcompact in 45. How can you pass this up for 245? Look at it. I've used it a lot, and look at nothing. Look at the finish. Fiber optic front sight. Oh, yeah, that's another benefit. Check out these sights. A nice textured black rear with two dots and an awesome fiber optic front. I'm, I'm loving this thing. But 9 plus 1 or 45 on the right, a little bit wider. And then, obviously, up top, a little bit longer for the Mod 3. I love my XDs. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. And check the comments in this video. You'll hear a lot of people talking about the great performance of their XDs. Every company have, has lemons, even Glock. Um, that's going to be 11 plus 1 on the right versus 16 plus 1 on the left. That's the Kimber Mako R7. I actually really like that Kimber. Um, I never was... Oh, sorry, 10 plus 1. I was never the biggest Kimber fan, but the Mako was actually made me a believer. I love the Mako. It is a great carry gun. It has a really nice trigger on it. And once again, Cat X Pro. Love this dot. This setup is actually a sick, sick setup. The finish is flawless on it. It's a good solid hangout. Anyways... That's the XD Mod 3. Love this thing. 4 inch. Really nice. Well made. Affordable. Just a great overall handgun. So, you know, keep your eyes out for it. Like I said, 300 to 320. It's a great value. Thanks for watching, guys.